guys. Today I'm going to cook a thin cut steak in the slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I have a beef uh, cross rib steak here, thin cut. There was two in this package and I cooked one of them yesterday just to test this out. Um, you could use any type of steak really that you wanted, but you want a fair amount of fat marbling through it, otherwise they won't get tender. I've tried this with leaner cuts of meat and they just get tough. They don't really get tender. You need that fat to uh, you know, make them tender. So anyway, um, this was uh, Mark $4 off. There was two steaks. They were $4.16. So that's a pretty good price for this. So anyway, I'm just going to get this into a dry slow cooker. So I didn't add any liquid. This will make some liquid as it cooks. And I'm going to season it with some kosher salt and some Johnny's seasoned pepper. Besides pepper, this has sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. Okay, and we'll get the lid on there. And I'm going to cook this on low. So I'll let you guys know how long it takes. We're two hours into this. So let's take a peek here. Smells good. Now, I mean, that's cooked. You could eat it just like that. But it's still tough as nails, and it doesn't really have much color to it. So... I'm just going to let this go a while longer. That's what happens with meat. It gets really tough at first, and then it kind of starts to relax the longer you cook it, and it'll um, get more tender. It's been about five and a half hours. So let's check on this. Well, it's got a lot more color on it. I don't know how tender it is. Yeah, it's a little bit more tender. This piece of meat didn't have that much fat, so I don't think it's going to get super tender anyway. Anyway, I'm going to turn that off right there. And um, I'll let it rest for a few minutes and then we'll try it out. All right, let's see how this turned out. I don't know if it's going to be fork tender, but it's got some nice color on it. All right. That's what the back side looks like. Anyway, let's try a bite of that. It's a little bit dry, but for a $2 steak, I'm not complaining. You know what I should have done is made a steak sandwich with it. That's what I'm going to do next time I do that. And he's over here. Hook me up, Dad. I want to try it. If she chokes, I guess we'll know it was dry. <laughs> well, she got it down okay, and she's licking the floor, so I guess it's approved by her. <laughs> So that was in there for five and a half hours on low, and it came out pretty good. I'm not complaining for a $2 steak. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.